Good day to everyone! This is the third lesson in the course Calculation in Lira Supper, and in this lesson I will introduce to you different types of loads on different types of elements in Lira Supper program. First of all, let's talk about units of measurements. In Lira Supper, units of measurement of loads is tons. If you want to change it to kilonewtons, click on the application button, select line settings, and find line units of measurement. In this window, you can change units of measurement for loads, geometrical parameters, material properties, and temperature. For our problem, I will use default units of measurements. Let's return to load types. Find the button loads in group of commands, loads, and click on it. In this window, you can see different types of loads on different elements. You can find information of every type of load in help. Just click on the question mark in this window. First type of load is load on nodes. Here we can select system of coordinates for our load. Global or local, we will use global. And direction of our load. Let's select direction Z. Click on the button concentrated load and type value of load, for instance, two tons. Now select nodes on which you want to apply it load and click apply in the window. You can see arrows which directed to selected nodes. If you don't see arrows, click on the button flex of drawing. In window select third tab and check loads and loads values. Then click button redraw in this window. Pay attention that positive value of load means that the load is directed against axis direction. If you want to set load along axis, type value with sign minus before it, for example minus 2. To send moments in node, click on the button concentrated moment. Selected direction Z means that moment will act over axis Z. Then select node on which you want to apply moment and click apply. Next type of load is load on bars. Here is the same principle with coordinate systems and direction of our load. We already know about distributed load from lesson number one, so let's talk about trapezoidal load on group of nodes. This type of load is used when we need to apply load on several bars. In this window, we set load value at the beginning of its appliance zone, for example 1 ton per meter, and in the end, for example 3 tons per meter, and direction along which load will change its magnitude. Our bars are located along axis Y, that's why let's select direction Y. Click OK. Now we need to select bars. Click on the button Select Elements and select bars one by one or with frame. Then click apply in the window. You can see trapezoidal load that we set with values 1 at the beginning and 3 in the end. Values in two medium nodes program has interpolated automatically. By the way, it is not necessary to select bar after creation of load. We can do it before creation of load. Select bar in window loads, select concentrated load on bars. Here set magnitude of load, for instance 4, and distance of load applying from the beginning of bar, for instance 0.5 meters. Click apply, and you can see the concentrated load on the bar. Let's apply bending moment to the last bar. Select this bar. Click Bended Moment, type Magnitude, for instance 1 ton per meter, and distance from the beginning of bar, for instance 0.6 meters, and click OK. Now let's consider load on plate. We will start with uniformly distributed load. Set Magnitude of load, for instance 3 tons per meter square. 
Click OK. Select the plate and click Apply. Now let's talk about uniformly distributed load between two nodes of a plate. This load can represent, for example, wind load on cast in situ floor slab. Select load direction along axis Y and click on this load. Here we set load value, for example, 1 ton per meter. Then we can select uniform load or not, let it be non-uniform. Set second value 3 tons per meter. Then we need to select nodes of plate where this load will be applied. We can type number of nodes or select them with the command select nodes. Click OK. Now choose plate and nodes that you need and click apply. The last type of load is load on solids. Select uniformly distributed load. We can set this type of load on whole solid or on face of solid. Let's choose load on face. Like in previous type of load, we can select face of solid by typing its number or by selecting nodes of this face. Click OK in the window, select solid, nodes of face one by one and click apply. Don't forget to save your problem and see you on next lessons.